Okay, this is called History of the World, I guess. Uh, it's the clean edition, um, meaning the original one has some words that wouldn't be appropriate. So, um, I got like three minutes into it, and I realized that has nothing really to do with the kind of history we deal with. I'm going to start here at humans. Um, this is interesting. I'm intrigued, so let's go. At the same time. And bang rocks together to make pointed rocks. Ouch. And set things on fire. Youch. <laughs> and make crazy sounds with their voice. Which can mean different things. That's a human person. And yep. now they're everywhere. Almost. Ice age. What? You can walk over here? Cool. Not anymore. Well, I guess we're stuck here now. Let's <laughs> review. There's people. The Bering Strait. The planet. And they're chasing their food. Look at this. I control the food now. Now everyone will want to be my friend and live near me. Let's all build houses, except mine is bigger because I own the food. This is great. I wonder if anyone else is doing this. Tired of using rocks wow. for everything? Okay, Use metal. Yeah. It's underground. Better farming was just invented in a sweet dank valley right in between these two rivers. This is, uh, what do they call it? The Fertile Crescent, uh, Tigris and Euphrates River. Um, they call it the Cradle of Civilization. And the animals are helping. Guess what happens next? More food. And more people who came to buy the food. Now you need people to help make the food and keep track of the sales. And now you need houses for people to live in and people to make the houses. And now there's more people and they invent things, which makes things better. And more people come and there's more farming and more people to make more things for more people. And now there's business, money, writing, laws, oh. power. Society. Coming soon to a dank river valley near you. Meanwhile, out yeah. in the middle of nowhere, the horse is probably being tamed. Why is all my metal so lame and lumpy? Tired of using lame, sad metal? Introducing bronze made with special ingredient tin. The bronze age. I love the way they do this. It's just, and it goes so quickly. How, how can you... How does one react From to the this? the lands of tin lands. What? Egypt. Meanwhile, okay. out in the middle of nowhere, they figured out how to put wheels on a horse. Now we're getting somewhere. Also, China. And did I mention... In this river valley civilization... Wow, they did a pretty good job of of moving along. Uh, all right, great. It's getting more complicated. Maybe because it's in the middle of the east. Knock knock or clop clop. It's the people with the horses, and they made an empire. And then everyone else copied the horses. Greeks. Ah, oh, look, it must be the Greeks. The Greeks. So the Greeks were the first. Um, it's it's a country, but the cities are more. I don't know. It's sort of like a confederation. Um, it is an interesting society. So. It, uh, written, by the way, uh, writing came a long way. Um, they, they talked about Egypt, a um, couple of other places. Uh, writing was uh, was huge. Hieroglyphics, writing. They could actually, you know, keep records of things. That that was huge. That was a, a huge boost to society and subsequent societies. Learning from the past, uh, the, the society before them. Or a beta version of the Greeks. Let's check in with the Indian yeah. Valley civilization. They're gone. Guess who's not gone? China. New arrivals in India. Maybe it's okay, it's gonna be. There's gonna be a lot of China. I can feel that coming and going. Those horse people I was talking about are their cousins or something. And they wrote some hymns and mantras and stuff. You could make a religion out of this. There's the Bronze Age collapse. Now the religion. There you go. All right. So religion is um is things that you don't know. Uh, you know, and you try to find a way to explain them. Religion, right there. Um, interesting. Can get down to business. Also, yeah, trade. Holy cow, that was excellent. That so they actually end up getting at this thing, but they actually uh, the Phoenicians actually start uh settling all along. Actually, I could do this all along here. You get uh, Carthage. Uh, the the Greeks were of course already in here, but trade all along the area. Um. That's, this is gonna be. This is so much fun. There's so much stuff. At one time, metal that's a little easier to find. Thanks. Look yeah. who came back to Israel. It's the twelve tribes of Israel. And they believe in God. Just one though. He's got like a ten-step program. Here's some huge he heads. Must be the Olmecs. The Phoenicians make some colonies. The Greeks okay. copy their idea and make some colonies. Hey, I have to admit, I'm glad to see that they put in uh, the Americas on here. Um, I know it's. A, we're learning so much more about the Americas, such as uh, uh, in the Amazon basin. That you know. Um, or what we see right now was the rainforest uh, that was full. Of, they they're thinking what was it something like fifty million or a hundred million people until of course uh, the quote unquote discovery, uh, and then they they kind of die out. That's the lidar is what it's called that that you can actually go across. It's a uh, light emitting radar, so you can go go through the trees and see what it looks like. And they found all these roads of civilization. It's not there, so uh, I'm not sure when this came out. It's about what. Five years ago, more. I don't know if they had 
LiDAR, if they're using LiDAR on or not, but it would be a big part of the video, I imagine. The Phoenicians made a colony so big Bigger. it makes colonies. Here comes the Assyrian Empire. Never mind, it's the mm -hmm. Babylonian media. It's the Persian Empire. Wow, Ooh. that's big. Yeah. Ah, the Buddha was just enlightened. Who's the Buddha? This guy who sat under a tree for so long that he figured out how to ignore the fact that we're all dying. You can make a religion out of this. Oops, China just broke, but while it was breaking, Confucius was figuring out how to have good morals. Ah, the Greeks just had the idea of thinking about stuff. And right over here, Alexander just had the idea of conquering the entire Persian Empire. It's a Oh, that's pretty cool. I'm sorry. The Greeks had the idea about thinking about things. That is, that's, that's, yeah, philosophy. That's great. great. Idea. He was great. And now he's dead. Uh, Hopefully uh -oh. the rest of the gang will be able to share the empire evenly between them. Hey, China. <laughs> they totally will not. Almost every empire that gets created uh, by like a person, they're squabbling afterwards. Put itself back together again with good morals as their main philosophy. Actually, they have three main philosophies. Out here, the horse nomads run wild and free, and they would like to ransack your city. Let's check the Greekification levels of the Greekified kingdoms. Greekification overload. Bye, said the Parthians. Bye, said the Jews. Hi, said the Parthians, taking over the entire place. Hey, said the Romans, eating Ooh. the entire Mediterranean for breakfast. By the way, one civilization takes step from the, the previous civilization or, or culture, if you will. The Romans borrowed from the Greeks. The Greeks borrowed from, I, I forget who it, it was, but there's a lot of, uh, uh, once, once Alexander goes across, basically takes Greek culture all across uh, the Middle East, all the way down to uh, India and, across, of course, to uh, Egypt. That is, you know, you're, you're talking about mixing everything up and preparing it for the Roman version of that. Uh, it's very interesting. It's very interesting. Thanks for invading our homeland, said the Jews, who were starting to get tired of people invading their homeland. <laughs> Hi, everything's great, said some guy who seems to be getting very popular and is then arrested and killed for being too popular, which only makes him more popular. You can make a religion out of this. Want silk? Now you can buy it from China. They just made a... Brand new road to the world. Or you can get their own water. Sick, new trade routes. Yeah, good luck conquering Vietnam said India, accidentally mm. spreading their religion to the entire southeast. Mm, that's a good place for an epic trading kingdom. There goes Buddhism traveling up the Silk Road. I wonder if it'll reach China before it collapses again. Remember the Persian Empire? Yep, said the Persians, making a new one. Aksum is getting so powerful they would like to build a long stick. Still can't cross the Sahara Desert? Try camel. Hi, I live in the Roman Empire, and I was wondering... Is loving Jesus legal yet? No. Um, the, uh, the Sahara, won't, um, I believe it was before the... Before the pyramid, well, they... they Pyramids back to 3,000 or something like that, 5,000, I guess. But uh, at one point, the Sahara was not a desert. It was, uh, it was quite thriving. Um, just a note. Actually, okay, sure, said Constantine, moving the capital way over here to be closer to his main rival. Don't worry about Rome. It won't fall. It's the... Uh, Constantine was a Christian. Uh, he... Well, yeah, he changed it from... Um, uh, polytheism to uh, monotheism so that was a it was actually a major change um in 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 the world history there's the gupta empire not chandra gupta just gupta first name chandra the first guess who's in Rome? It's barbarians. what's a barbarian non-romans said the romans being invaded by non-romans r.i.p roman empire or actually just half of it the other half is just fine but it's not in mm -hmm. rome anymore so let's give it a new name the mayans have figured out the stars Oh, and here's a huge city. Population, everyone. The Gok Turks have taken over the entire Eurasian steppe. Great job, Gok Turks. How's India? Broken. How's China? Back together. How's the trading China. kingdoms? Bigger and there's more of them. Korea has three kingdoms. Japan has a kingdom. It's the Sunrise Kingdom. Deep in the Arabian desert, on the top of a mountain, the real god whispers in Muhammad's ear. So he goes down to the cube where everyone worships gods, and he tells them their gods are all fake. And everyone got so mad at him that he had to leave town and go to a different town. You can make a religion out of this, and maybe conquer the world as well. All right, five major religions are there. Um, what is it? Hin Hinduism, Buddhism, Christianity, uh, Judaism, and now Islam. So those are the five major religions uh, are on the earth. But man, they moved through this so quick. I mean, the Roman Empire was a blip. And that was like, what, a thousand, about a thousand years, just under? That's uh, crazy. Okay. The Roman Empire is long gone, but somehow the Pope is still the Pope. Plus, there's new yeah. kingdoms all over Europe. I wonder if there's room for Moors. Here's all the wisdom. Moors. In a house, 
It's the Baghdad House of Wisdom, just in time for the Islamic Golden Age. Let's bring stuff to the coast and sell it and become the Swahili on the Swahili coast, said the Swahili on the Swahili coast. Remember this tiny space you have to go through to get from here to there? Someone owns that now. The Franks have the biggest kingdom in Europe, and the Pope is so proud that he invites the king over for Christmas. Surprise, you're the new Roman emperor, said the Pope, pretending to still be part of the Roman Empire. Then the Franks broke their kingdom into what will later become yeah. France and not France. The Northerners, or just Norse if you don't have much time, are exploring. They go north, from the north to the northern north, and they find some land, two types of land and they named them accordingly they also invade some other places yeah it's interesting they named them they named greenland um greenland was mostly ice and iceland of course uh is is more green but they named iceland iceland because they didn't want people to know that it was not a bad place to settle at least that that's my understanding about it it was sort of uh, a false name so it would keep other people from showing up and get called many names, such as Vikings. The Pope is ready to make some more emperors of the Roman Empire, the Holy Roman Empire, new kingdoms. Christianize all the kingdoms. Time to conquer England, said William. It's a bird, it's a plane. It's the Seljuk Turks, <laughs> said the Byzantine Empire, who's getting so small it almost doesn't exist anymore. We yeah. need help. They need help, so they call the Pope. Hey, Pope, can you help us get rid of the Seljuks? Maybe take back the Holy Land on the way? Come on, I know you want to take back the Holy Land. Yes, I do actually want to do that. Let's do a crusade. Crusade. They did many yep, crusades, crusades, some of which almost didn't fail, but at least the Italians got some sweet trade deals. Goodbye, Mayans. Hello. Yeah, like every crusade pretty much failed. Uh, it was like Jerusalem changed hands so many times, and then they, they just, they didn't even make it to the Middle East sometimes. Goodbye, Toltecs. Hello, Mississippi. Look at those mounds. Yeah. There's the Pueblo. I always wondered how to build a town and a cliff. Japan is so addicted to. I have been there to the to the Pueblo. Um, uh, the, well, the Pueblo civilization, or the the area of the Pueblos. It is amazing, uh, and is. You would not, never be able to see it if you were passing by necessarily. It was the most defendable place. Um, so I can imagine there them lasting a long time. Art that the military might have to take over the government. China just invented bombs and typing. And the Mongols just invaded most of the universe. Nice going, Genghis. I bet that will last a long time. Some of the Islamic Turks were unaffected by the Mongol invasions because they were busy invading India. Oh, broke up again. Is it Tonga time? I think it's Tonga time. Tonga time. I just found out where the Swahili gets all their gold. Look at this Chad. Means lake. There's an empire there, right in the middle of it. The king of Mali is so rich he's going on tour to let everyone know. Wow, that guy. That guy was so. He's the richest person in history, if I'm not mistaken. Um, by way, by far. As rich, everyone said. The Christians are doing a great job reconquering Iberia, which will soon be called Spain and not Spain. Please remain Christian. We will check in later to see if you're still Christian when you least expect. Whoops, half of Europe just died. Yep. China's back, yay! Hey, come here, time to share. New kingdoms here and there. Oh, look who controls all the islands. It's the Mahajapit. Majahapit. Mapajahit. I can never say that. Mapajahit. Mapajahit. Majapahit. Majapahit. Oh, Italy's really rich. Time for them to care a lot about art and the ancient classics. It's kind of like a rebirth. Here's a printer. Let's make books. So you think you can conquer the Byzantine Empire? Yep, said the Ottoman Turks. Nice job, Ottoman Turks. Wait, said Christopher Columbus. If the world is round, let's go this way to India. No, don't worry. We already got this, said Portugal. Notice he said, if the world is round, which it was already round. Most people knew it was already round before, uh, before he left. So Chris goes to Spain. Hey, Spain, want to hire me to find India by going around back of the world? No, please. No, please. No, please. Okay. So he sails into the ocean and discovers more ocean and then discovers the Indies and Japan. Let's draw a line to decide who gets which half of the world. The Aztec and Inca empires are off to a great start. I wonder yeah. if they know that Europe just discovered their continent. You know what would be magnificent, said Suleiman, wearing an... I, it's it's important to note and not skip over that yes when they discovered uh the americas they, m more than something like it ended up being like 80 percent of the population ended up dying from these onion hat what if the ottoman empire was really big which it is now what if russia was big said ivan trying not to be terrible portugal had a dream that they controlled the entire indian ocean including the spice trade and then that dream was real and Spain realized that this is not India, but they pillaged it anyway. Britain and France are having a friendly discussion about who should control the entire world, more specifically Ohio. Then it escalates into a seven-year discussion, giving Prussia a chance to show Austria who's boss. But what about Britain and France? Did they figure out who's boss? Yes, they did. It's Britain. Guess who's broke? Also Britain. So they start tax out of America, declaring their independent and fighting for it. And France helps them win. Now France is broke. That's a really quick uh, version of uh, colonization of um, North America. And South America, by the way, um, important to note that they did uh, that the Pope did divide uh, South America between Spain and Portugal, and Portugal got Brazil, and Spain got everything else. 
and Britain will have to send their prisoners to a different continent. Wait, if France is broke, why do the king and queen still wear such fancy dresses? Let's overthrow the palace and cut all their heads off, said Robespierre, cutting everybody's head off until someone eventually got mad and cut his head Yeah, he, he just... The, 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 Rev the French Revolution was nothing but a whole bunch of... Well, it was not nothing, but it was a whole bunch of people's heads cut off. Um, it just got out of hand. That reminds me of the Salem Witch Trials. They keep going, keep going, keep going, and then somebody has to make some sense of it. Head off. There goes Latin America, becoming independent in the Latin American Wars of Independence. Britain Simon Bolivar. Turned steam into power, so now they can make many different types of machines and factories with machines in them, so they can make a lot of products real fast. Then they invent some trains and conquer India and maybe put some trains there. Britain and Russia are playing a game where they try to stop each other from conquering Afghanistan. Also, the Sultan of Oman lives in Zanzibar now. That's just where he lives. India just had a revolution, and they would like to govern themselves now. Nope, said Britain, governing them even harder than before. There you go. Technology is about to go crazy. The United States finally figured out whether slavery is good or bad. It's bad, they decided. The United Pretty much. Uh, another turning point. The United States ran out of destiny to manifest, so they're looking for more. Hawaii, Cuba. Wait, Spain controls Cuba. Well, blame something on them and go to war. What should we blame on Spain? Let's blame the main on Spain. So they yep. blame the main on Spain. Now we're in business. By the way, main really turns out it had not, not much to do with it. Yellow journalism. That's the key. To celebrate, they kick Panama out of Panama and make a canal connecting the two oceans. Britain just found oil in the Middle East. It makes cars go. China is so tired of being bossed around that they delete their old government and make a new, stronger government, which is accidentally weaker and controlled by a guy from the previous government. Yeah. Europe hasn't had a war since the last war, so they start World War I. Look at those guns. It's going to be a great war. So great we won't need a second one. After it's over, they blame Germany. Russia went on strike and the workers overthrew the government. Now everyone's paycheck is the same. Communism in the Soviet Union. The Arabs revolt and Britain helps. Now the Ottoman Empire is gone so we can give the Jewish people a place to live. And then the Saudis conquer. Uh, some people don't know that, or, or well, maybe you don't know uh, that um, after World War II, uh, they did. Uh, the British were the big pushers uh, for Israel, uh, this is the Jewish homeland, um, but backed out rather quickly because you know then the the war started and Britain was like, no, we had enough of this. For Arabia, it just seemed like the right thing to do. Hello. Yes, it's the 1920s calling. Let's get in the car and drive to a party and listen to jazz on the radio and go to the movies. The economy's great and it'll probably be great forever. Just kidding. Germany's back featuring Hitler and he's mad at the Jews for existing. Hitler's out of control, so the international community tackles him and tries to... Important to note, Hitler was, uh, I think it was, was it Times Man of the Year in like 1936? And there were, there were even rallies, if you're an American, there were even rallies at, uh, or at least a rally at uh, Madison Square Garden. That was uh, Nazi based. That was more along the lines of uh, nationalism and Germany's back and let's, you know, prosper, prosper, prosper. Um, yeah. So there, it wasn't like, it wasn't like the uh, Madison Square Garden thing was like, you know, you know, let's call the, you know, anyone who's not German uh, kind of thing. It was, it was more along the lines of nationalism, but um, that stopped once the war. Broke out, uh, broke out with the United States and it was, it was pretty, pretty well stopped. To explain why killing all the Jews is a bad idea, but he kills himself before they could explain it to him. That's World War II. Bonus round, Pacific Showdown. United States versus Japan. Fight. Fight. Finish Ooh. it. Let's yeah. unite all the nations and have some world peace. Seems legit. There's the Korean War, Korea versus Korea. Nobody wins, then it's on pause forever. Let's meet the sponsors. Oh, it's the two global superpowers. Yep. They're having a friendly debate over which economic system is good and which one is an evil virus of Satan. And they both have atom bombs. Fight! Fight. Wait, no, that would be the end of the world. Let's just keep it cool and spy on each other instead. And make sure we have enough atom bombs. I'll race you to space. Now let's make some more countries fight themselves. Europe is tired of pillaging other continents, and the continents they were pillaging are tired of being pillaged. So here's a new map with new countries. Now you can't tell who they're being pillaged. That is excellent. Just, I'm sorry, I'm blown away by how fast this is. Uh, excellent editing. And yes, on Africa, of course, uh, after colonization, they just drew lines on a map, and I'm sure there will be no repercussions. There are repercussions. We're seeing them today. Fine. The United States finally decided whether racism is good or bad. They decided it's bad, and the world agrees. Let's check the world population. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, that's going to be a problem that we're going to have to deal with real soon. 
Technology's better too, that might keep happening. The Soviet Union decides to relax a little and accidentally falls apart. Europe makes a union, so now they can all use the same money. Except Britain, because they don't feel like it. Let's check the mail. Surprise, it's on the computer. Phone. <laughs> love about... I love that about Britain. And thank you for adding Tom Hanks. I love that. Call. Surprise, it's in your pocket. Want to learn everything? Surprise, mm. it's on the computer. Now your phone's a computer, which is in your pocket. Whoops, the economy just crashed. Don't worry, the big banks won't fail because they're not supposed to. Surprise, flying robots. Want to print a brain? The globe is warming. And the ocean is full of plastic. Yep. Let's save the planet, said everybody, not knowing how. Let's invent a thing inventor, said the thing inventor inventor after being invented by a thing inventor. That's pretty cool. Wow. That's crazy. Uh, that uh, I can't believe how quickly everything was um edited together it's i'm i'm debating whether i should even show my son this but uh uh very very succinct i thought i guess everything was kind of relatively balanced um i guess different standpoints would you know different Civilizations would have different points of view. I did, I did appreciate that China rose and fall, and rose and fall, rose and fall, that kind of thing. Um, I do think they glossed over the Roman Empire very quickly, and they spent a lot of time in the 20th century. But then again, uh, technology has moved so quickly since I would say around the, I don't know, I'd say around the 1800s or so. Technology's kind of curved upwards, and you know, a lot of Inventions happening very quickly, one on top of the other. Population growth has has been is a current issue. Um, it, it could, uh, it should be leveling out because of the birth rate. Uh, and uh, yeah, so there is that. Let me know what you think. Um, these are my initial thoughts. I've never seen this before, so it's very interesting. And I hope I mentioned everything is the last thing that's on there. But uh, yeah, I kind of hope I did too. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, if you like this, hit the like button. If um, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.